Blake here from Blue Dog Prospecting. As you all know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. We're here metal detecting at Peaky Beach in Yamba, New South Wales. Got Blue Dog there, Nimi and Katrina. Katrina's trying out the metal detector. She won on um, Gold Digger Metal Detectors Monday Night Live. I've just got a signal here. And it's reading at bottle cap. So I've drawn a line. This is how I normally do it. I'll, I'll draw myself a line. Don't do that in me. Pick it up, please. And draw another line. So I'd say it's a bottle cap. Oh, we'll have a look. Oh, felt something. There it is. Yeah, it's a bottle cap. Third one for five minutes this morning. And we'll move on, see if we can get another target. Katrina's there digging a bit of a target. Hopefully she's uh, onto something there. We'll go and have a look. So, I think Kat's just got a bit of mineralisation and salt. There's a big line of salt runs through about where she is. So I think that was just a false target. We'll move on. She's still learning a new detector. We'll move our way up the beach. We're doing a grid pattern up the beach and down the beach. Like this. So we'll get back to you when we get another target. Beautiful day for it. Absolutely gorgeous day. Well, I've just got two signals. One there, one there. I can already see what they are, I don't even have to dig. More bottle caps. Please guys, if you're at the beach, take your bottle caps home. Not only is it litter and a pain for us, but these sharp edges, I mean, cut someone's foot when it's starting to rust. Just take them home guys, it's not hard. Well, Katrina's frustrated with metal detecting, but Emmy's having a go. I've just got a bit of a signal here. Thinking another bottle cap. Possibly a hair clip or something. This is how I like to do my holes. Oh, hang on. I think we found it. What the bloody hell? Sunday. Looks like it's a turn dial off an oven. Well, there you go. Alright, so we've got another target. It's reading sort of 74 to 83. I'm using double D mono coil, so I'll draw a line. The reason I draw a line is because it only picks up along this section here. See what I can tell you there. So I'll come back from this side. And that's telling me that it's about there. So I'll draw another line. Oh, and I just pulled it out with my toe. Bottle cap. Anyway, you never know unless you dig it. So I've got one signal here. Might scoop me hole around like this. So there's not so much of a pile in one area to go through. No, where'd they lose it? No. Girl just lost a unicorn earring. Might have a look for it for her in a minute. So it's out of the hole. It's there. Just 
sit him down find this so I'll see what it is we got 10 cents it's been in there a little while cool that's the first bit of money out of the 20 bottle caps all right got another signal here I'm guessing another bottle cap I reckon it's gonna be right, so we'll see where it is. Still in there. Out there somewhere. Make sure it's not out. No. Oh, I see blue. I was right. That's another bottle cap. I'll say it again. Please take your bloody bottle caps home, guys. It's just as bad as throwing glass on the beach. Okay, so we're back home now. It's about 36 degrees down at the beach. It felt more like 40. It was bloody warm. So, as you can see behind me, I'm in my shed. I'll get together all the rubbish and that that I got from today. I've got 10 cents. That was all the money I found or anything worthwhile keeping. But I'll take all my rubbish home. Um, I'll show you what I got for today. And I'll show you what I got for the last three outings down at the same 100 metre stretch of beach. Down at Hickey Beach at Yamba. Um, pretty disgraceful, really. It'd be nice if uh, people took their bottle caps and things home because it's all rubbish at the end of the day. It's not just about us having to detect it, but it's about, you know, the rubbish and that that's left behind on local beaches. So I'll show you what we got for today and the last three outings. Um, it's pretty bad, really. Anyway, that's the way it is. Okay, so that's today's. It's been about two hours. Six bottle caps, ten cents, one ring pull, a couple of bits of foil, a bit of a cigarette packet there. Don't know what that is. Sunday. Well, it's Tuesday today, so. <laughs> anyway. And this, folks. Is all from the same beach. Oh, rubbish flowing away everywhere. Another 10 cents. There's a 20. Rubbish blowing everywhere in my shed. Another 10 cents. There's a 50. So I did find a bit of money in the last few days. Bugger all, really. Um, but yeah, that's all the rubbish we got. So that's within a 100 meter stretch of beach around the school holidays and you know these things rust they become quite sharp and there's a lot of kids and that run around on the beach it's also a dog walking beach so you do get quite a um, few dogs and that that might cut themselves I've said it twice now already I'll say it again guys take your bottle caps home and I found a few fish hooks as well so we are doing a bit of a public service there, cleaning up the beach, I suppose. I'd hate to get that in my foot. Should be pretty painful. I did find a couple of them in the last few trips. There's another one there I found. It's a circle hook. A bit safer, I suppose, but rusty nevertheless. And just as deadly, or just as dangerous in your foot. So, an old nail. These have been pretty common lately too. I found probably about 30 of these little tent pegs. Look, don't even bother using them to hold your little beach tent down because you will lose them. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I'm Blake from Blue Dog Prospecting, as you all know. Don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. Or hit the subscribe button. Help me grow this channel.
Big room ready for you guys. <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to go for a swim in the pool because it's bloody warm today. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I'll see you all next time. Peace.